It's a good burst of pace by Donfer, still going. Gets the cross in, Hipgraves there! Hello everyone and welcome back to DTFC. Today we are playing up against Blue Marlin who are down in 12th in the Essex Alliance Senior Division. And here is the team for today. Charlie Dillon is in goal, the usual back four. And this time it's Dom Fay at right back, Hossack and Bonjanga back at centre back, Lewis Evans at left back for this one. Ashley Campbell and Mickey Mesmin start in defensive midfield. Of course, Campbell was at left back last time, but he's moved into midfield for this one. Stanley Green starts at left wing. And of course, Kieran Hipgrave and Emmanuel Chitongo, part of that three supporting Billy Gollage up front. And Blue Marlin can get us underway for today's game. As I said before, sitting in 12th position, DTFC still unbeaten and competing for the league on 26 points and have one of the top scorers in the division as well in college who has 17, uh, 17, 7 so far this season. It's something special if you had 17. And they've been impressive, solid I think, DTFC, maybe a couple of results that they would have wanted a couple more goals, but so far so good and unbeaten as well is a fantastic start for them. And hopefully it can continue in the vein of form that it has been in the run up to Christmas. There's plenty of scrappy little headers there in midfield and the ball might break loose on the far side. Oh, that's a loose back pass as well. And Gollidge has nicked onto it and he just Oh, couldn't quite get it in and the goalkeeper in the end has to clear it away. It's going to be a corner whipped in by Hipgrave and oh, almost taken away there. Still might fall for them, Blue Marlin potentially on the counter-attack. And they just stopped off well there. Good challenge by Hossack and his ball is into the penalty area but straight to the goalkeeper. Keeper's going to play short, and that's a poor pass. And they're straight away. DTFC players pressuring it. That's what you need. You need the intensity. But they've brought the ball out well here, and the number ten has played it to the edge of the area. And it's a bit of space here as well. It's just wide. I'll tell you what, that was very, very close to being the opening goal. Hossack on the ball spreads the play out really well. Green can pick it up now. Stands up his man, a couple of step overs, goes on the outside, still now, whips the ball in, it's cleared away and it's going to be a throw in on the near side. Nesmin, got lots of space to turn and play the ball and he has done as well and Golic could be in here, Golic over the keeper and Golic with the opening goal, it's as easy as that for DTFC. Too much time on the ball for Mickey Mesmin, a fantastic ball over the top. And Billy Gollidge, cool as you like, dinks it over the goalkeeper. And it's a positive start and the Ronaldo celebration to boot. Well, both fantastic goal scorers, of course. Slightly different levels of uh, football. But goal scorers nonetheless, and that's eight goals now for Gollidge this season. Blue Marlin coming forward straight away. They've had a couple of chances in this opening exchange of the first half and they're looking to build the play again from midfield. And to the edge of the box here. The 10 has the shot on the turn. Again though, that's wide. Campbell. And it's just retained there. And Gollidge with a lovely little flick. And Chitongo there on the ball, still going. And in the end, he's penalised. He slips as he kicks it, but it still turns out to be a decent ball. And Marlin have a bit of a chance here, but in the end, again, the shot is just dragged harmlessly wide. The plus side is a goal, though, for the opposition. DTFC don't want to give you too much of a look in towards the goal. It's a good turn by the 10, though. Campbell gets a foot in, Hipgrave is there. 
We've lost out again, Blue Molly. It's a little bit scrappy at the moment. That's a wonderful ball, though. And Chitongo is onto it, and he tries to dink it in. But in the end, that goes wide, and the keeper watches it all the way out. And Marlin again. It's a good ball on the far side, and they're driving into the penalty area. It's a good ball across. That's a really good save. Fantastic little save, and it's a ball whipped back in again. And booted away by Bonjanga. Bollage in the challenge there. And again, it goes out for a throw in, I think. He might have actually gone for a foul there. The ball is, looks to be pretty harmless. It's not the best of back passes, and the clearance is blocked, and it's just wide. Almost a second for DTFC. Blue Marlin playing themselves into trouble. A oh, wonderful switch of play, and Stanley Green runs onto it, and he's got the pace to beat his man, and he does as well. Into the penalty area, Green across, and there's the second. Brilliant wing play from Stanley Green. Mikhail Sakares beats his man for pace, and plays it across, and the number seven for DTFC has pulled off something really special there. You know, next time, just got to stand ahead. And they come again, DTFC, and oh, I tell you what, Green was almost there. Yeah. Marlin could maybe come away with the ball. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, with transport, it happens, you know, you can't, you can't predict it. So it's, it's that's way, a like, good, good, like, good touchdown by Bonjanga, and he plays the ball out yeah. wide. That's a good bit of pressure there, actually, by uh, Evans. Great to take the corner, and it's gone to the back post, and it's almost squeezed itself in. around nicely and here they come again and Blue Marlin have, have, have created a few little openings but just haven't quite been able to keep hold of the ball and really make anything of the chances that they've had the DCFC have done well though to keep their shape Marlin come again it's a ball over the top and it's taken down and the referee has blown up for a foul there Hossack boots the ball away in frustration. Hello, yeah, um, yeah, can Blue Marlin player is still down in the penalty area. This is a decent position for them from the free kick. And the shot's gone all the way through and all the way wide again. They just can't seem to get a shot on target at the moment. All things good so far for DTFC. And there's been so much time on the turn as well. They're not learning their lesson. From that first goal, it was him, of course, who played the pass. And oh well, the uh, camera has taken a bit of a nick there. As you can see, the pitch is pretty muddy. I don't want to stand in that with some white shoes. Let's keep some uh, black trainers on for that. And Mesman just gets to the ball, keeps it in. He's got a bit of space to drive in here. He plays the ball to feet. Lovely touch by Campbell. And the shot is straight at the keeper, but a good bit of play there. Holding midfielder finding himself out wide. We need to get back into midfield now because there's a bit of space for Blue Marlin to come forward, but they've kind of held it up a little bit too much. And in the end, the attackers not really been made the most of it. They could still make the most of it here, and that's a brilliant ball through. And the offside flag goes up, and that chip is over the bar. Here's Gollage into the penalty area. Still Billy Gollage. Oh, and a good save by the goalkeeper. Puts his hand up. It's a really decent effort. That's another long ball down the channel, and it's worked out for them again. Marlin, they've used that several times, and the keeper's come all the way out. And he hasn't got anywhere near it, and it's 2-1. Blue Marlin get themselves back into the game, and it's a really, really decent finish. I know the keeper's come a long way there. But the technique on that, to get it in from that distance and that angle, is an impressive feat in itself. And it's 2-1. And they reduce the arrears to one goal. 
Campbell. Out wide and Chitongo plays the ball in. It was Donfe actually, not Chitongo. Chitongo ran onto it, couldn't get there. And here they go again. Donfe, really good challenge and the shot is really well struck and fantastic block as well. And it's not kept in. And in the end it's going to be a throw in for DT FC. Campbell just waiting for a bit of space to put the ball in and it's a really good cross as well and Golledge is there. And a foul I think maybe. Corner's taken short, Green back to hit Grave, he can't get it off the ground, he has another bite at the cherry and that goes over the bar. That's a ball over the top here. And again working well the crossfield pass and DCFC need to be careful here, it's a little touch around, Evans and the shot is well saved. That's a good ball in, headed away. And again, and there is the half time whistle. And DTFC find themselves 2-1 up courtesy of a Billy Gollage goal set up by Mesmin. And then of course DTFC's number seven emulating Arsenal's number seven, Stanley Green, with some fantastic wing play to score, uh, to set up the second. And they find themselves in a decent position, despite having of course their lead halved before the end of the first half. Good burst over the halfway line and passes straight. And it's a bursting run here. And a fantastic ball and Eze's in here. Abraham Eze, oh, and he just didn't quite get the technique. And the ball over the top's actually worked itself okay here. Bonjanga, good block. Campbell takes it down. He's blocked off and now Marlin have the ball again. Campbell in there with another good challenge and the referee's blown up for a free kick. I think it's actually going to be a free kick to DT. And here they come again, Blue Marlin. Rain starting to come down a little bit now. Just playing it around. DTFC holding their shape well. That's a decent pass. They might be able to reach the penalty area. The defensive line still holds themselves. That's a good ball as well. Hossack with a hooked clearance. It goes back out to the near side. It's still there. Eze fighting to win the ball back. The cross is put in. It's blocked off and booted away. And that's a good ball as well in the end. And Hibgrave now could maybe get forward. Sits his man down, maybe slipped a little bit on the pitch and in the end loses possession of the ball. And Marlin becoming a bit stretched now and DTFC can take advantage and Stanley Green is brought down there. Cynical challenge. Stanley Green just too quick for the defenders there and they had to bring him down. It's going to be a free kick to DTFC in a good position and that's a yellow card for the opposition. Strong challenge to say the least. Hipgrave is going to whip this free kick in. Shouts of a handball there. Play seem pretty convinced, not given though. Yeah, Coton, really good turn there. The DTFC can build again here. Evans. Golledge. Cuts back in and still has the ball and just sifts it out wide to Hipgrave. He gets to the edge of the box and whips the ball back in in an acrobatic attempt. Cleared away. Still there, Donfe, good challenge, and again, and he's brought down. Is that a free kick? It is. Another free kick in a good position for DTFC. And it's Hipgrave who hits it straight at the keeper. Decent effort. Well, Eze has come back off field of play, and Emmanuel Chitongo is back on. And a chance now for... Blue Marlin to get forward again and strong challenge from a DTFC player there, not too sure who it was. The referee's blown up, it was Hossack in the end and he, I think, is going to go into the referee's book as well here. Does love a challenge, Bailey Hossack. That one just a little bit too eager. And the yellow card comes out for him. And 
free kick is going to be whipped into the area. Not really much height on that at all, but it still might fall for them, and the shot's blocked there. It was certainly going goalwards, and another shot blocked, and it might fall for them here, and the number eight has blazed it over. Hossack did well to put him off, but that's a real let-off. DTFC could really do with another goal here. And here they come again. That's a good ball. Floated well over the top, taken down as well. The shot's blocked, Green still with it. Still with it, lays it off to Chitongo now. Tries to get it back into Green, it's well blocked away. Gollidge now on the edge of the box, hits it. And that goes high and wide. That's another cross again, and it's another decent ball in. No one picking up the number nine, and he's still got it here. Goes down under the challenge and gets a corner. That's a good cross as well. The head is blocked. Goodness me. Very nearly 2-2. Two -two. Hanging on a little bit here, DT. They need to get another goal. And here they come. Golledge. He's got Chitongo with him, but Chitongo slips a little bit. And Golledge is challenged. Fair tackle as well. Wins the ball back as well. That's what you want to see. 17 has a little nibble at him. Hit Grave now, and to his left, still going hit Grave. And in the end, 17 gets the ball, but they're getting each other's way here. A couple of blue bowling players, they're certainly looking tired. A lot of people walking around the pitch now. Can DTFC use it to their advantage? It's a good burst of pace by Donfer, still going. Gets the cross in, hit Graves there! Oh, and it's in! Hip Graves' initial effort crosses the line, and it's his goal, and it's DTFC's third. And that surely seals the three points. Tapped in on the rebound, but I'm pretty sure Hipgrave gets the goal. Everyone's celebrating with him, and that's a huge one. Massive goal for DTFC that sees them top of the league if results were to stay the way they are. And 3 1 up now, you'd hope that they would hold on to this victory. They've had to ride their luck, but they've certainly been clinical. That's another decent little ball in, but well kept and bowled out now. Can they get something going on the counter-attack and maybe get even more to improve the goal difference? The rain is really starting to come down here. The pitch is getting a little bit slippy. A lot of players slipping over and the ball holding up a little bit. And there is full-time DTFC hold on for a huge win. Billy Gollidge sees himself up to nine goals with a brace today. But they are now top of the league with 11 games played, 9-1 and 2 drawn as well in that time. And a fantastic start to the season.